Hey Nuggets! Welcome back to my channel and today it's a new tutorial and it's on Procreate. First of all, I'm just going to show you how to do a simple face repaint edit and I think you should practice that before like going down to repainting your body and stuff like that and then you kind of get an idea how to do that part anyway. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I'm doing is making a new layer and then with Procreate there's palettes so the first thing that I do is after that I get the medium to dark color on the forehead and then the light color you can do that on the forehead or under the eyes because that's where the light color is and then you just place it on the palette and then you can start doing the actual repaint and then I go back to that medium dark color and I'm using the brush and the painting section the flat brush that's what it's called and I'm sorry if I'm going a bit too fast I'm gonna try slow down the video right now but if it's still too fast for you then you can just go on settings on YouTube somewhere and slow down the video or you can just pause it and then go along slowly just like you know so yeah <laughs> and then just put it all the way around the forehead and then use Gazian blur and I'm going to be using the mixture of using the smudging brush which is the hand tool right there and you know um, blend in on the Avi skin so right now um, for under the eyes when I use the light color of the Avi skin I'm just using that to go under the eyes and this is when I'm gonna start using the smudging tool that's the hand tool at the, at the top like I said and then, after, and then when I'm doing this, you got, you got to like be careful and make sure that your size is just right as you're doing it. And to be honest, this is a really simple thing to do, but it's not as simple to do on, on IBS Paint because I don't know. It's so annoying. It doesn't move right as well as it does on Procreate. So yeah keep doing this and make sure it goes a little bit down on the cheek area and then you're going to be spudging it out blending it in like you're baking under your eyes when you do makeup <laughs> and make sure it looks really blended out and then we can start the next step which is going back on the medium dark color and we're going to be going down to the sides on the face just covering up like the other parts of the skin but not too much we're going to try to make it look more realistic and not do too much changes on the skin that your Avi already has. You're just basically recreating it. So that's what I do recently with my Avi skin. I don't change it too much because I then the way your Avi looks looks more different than how she looked before you started editing her, if that makes any sense to you. Now we're making a new layer for that next part that I just explained before. You're going to go back on the medium dark colour and doing it on the sides on the cheek but we're not doing it like everywhere. Just like on the side where the blush is like around there. We're just going to be covering that up because we're going to recreate it after. And don't do too much because you're going to find it hard when you smudge it out. So yeah. By the way, this isn't my Avi, so this is also a good practice for me to do my method on how I recreate um, an Avi skin and make it look even more better and more smooth and nice looking. So when you smudge, you just want to start on the cheek and then go make your way down as you can see as why I did. And make sure you blend it out more like where the mouth area is, so make sure it looks smooth and doesn't look um like it's not blended properly so it should look like that a little bit and it looks like you smoothed that area out and that's how it should look like and then after this we're gonna create a, an eyeshadow look to make it look like we did something like you know um app like actually went from scratch and 
created an eyeshadow look and yeah it creates an illusion basically and then we're gonna connect that under her eyes so she isn't gonna stay looking like that and also the good part about smudging is whilst you're smudging you can get some colors from the RV skin that we didn't repaint in and just blend it out even more and just mixing the colors out and really blending it into your RV skin already and making her look flawless and you already know what the next part is because I always give you a heads up um, earlier so we're gonna start making the illusion by adding multiply and also if you wasn't paying attention or you have been we are still using the same technical pen brush that's the brush I use literally for everything I don't switch between different brushes because that confuses me and yeah I don't like doing that if it's works for everything then I use it for everything the only time I switch between brushes is when I want to start highlighting and doing details and stuff like that but this brush is good for everything so normally um, with your Avi, the eyeshadow look is always different so just look at what colors they are and just define it more with multiply and that's basically what you do and if you have kind of like a cr cut crease going on like right in the middle of the eye you would kind of notice it and just create a little line and then connect it more and blend it in using the smudging tool and there you go your little illusion that you did a really good job at doing your eyeshadow and then when I feel like you can't really see what I did I multi I duplicate and then I use a smudging tool if it doesn't look blended enough like I said um, before that didn't make sense because you saw me use Gazian blur but yeah do it in that order so I apologize and yeah so that's how your eyeshadow look should be right now and now we're gonna start connecting it under the eyes so before I even use multiply um, I go in with the just normal mode and start out with that first so basically when I go in with multiply I'm creating an ombre look so the darkness under the eyes shouldn't be going all the way under the eye it should only be like halfway down right in the middle And now we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna start doing the nose contour. So how I've been doing it differently is first I use a normal mode and then afterwards I use multiply but I think I start on like the sides of the nose and then I connect it kind of um, to the bridge of the nose and then also remember when you use multiply doing this part make sure you remember to clean up the sides of the nose so you can see the shape that you did using multiply and it looks really nicely contoured and then after i've done all of those steps i then do the tip of the nose a little contour right there make sure you don't do it too dark and then it will look really weird and then after this i kind of made a little blush effect right in the middle of the face and i would explain how i did that later on
now I'm gonna do the blush little effect that she, her Avi skin already had so I'm gonna be going all the way down to hide the repaint that we did on the side of the cheek to eye drop that color and then go all the way to that new layer that we created for the blush and then I'm gonna be using the airbrush to do this so it can go really on the face nice and smooth rather than drawing on and using Gaussian Blur to blend it all out. So um, to find that, just go find the airbrush all the way down and use the soft airbrush to do this part. You also want to be really careful with this part. So if your brush is too big or you kind of, when you're using it, you don't feel like it's showing up and you then you start to use too much pressure on your finger with it then yeah it kind of gets messy just double tap and undo that and make sure your brush isn't too big to go like where the eyeshadow is on the under the eye because then we, when we start to highlight it's gonna look pink or purple or however it turns out on your avi skin so make sure you try to be careful and you have the size down just a little bit and also make sure it, it kind of meets where the nose contour is so it looks blended in and if it doesn't for you then go back to that contour layer like from the the start before we added multiply on the bridge of the nose is use the smudging tool and connect it to where the blush areas are so it looks blended in and it doesn't look the way it my repaint look on her right now so yeah so now I'm back on using the technical pen to go around on those little areas to use multiply and then after we're doing this we're going to merge all those multiply layers and start highlighting and this is just because on Procreate there is a layer limit and I think it's about 102 I think so that's why now I go back if I've used too much multiply layers I put them together so you got to make sure that they all have the same mold when you merge them down or if you do not do that then all your layers are not going to show up kind of on your RV so you kind of have to be careful and make sure when you merge down your layers like I just said make sure it's the same mold and I'm gonna show you how to do that after this So after you, you've done the step that I just did, you want to remember to clean up the sides. If you don't, when you use a background or something, you can notice that little shadow thing on the side because you didn't clean it up. So you have to do that. I know it sometimes it doesn't seem noticeable, so you think you can just get away with it, but it makes your every edit look so much better and now I'm going to show you how to merge the layers it's kind of hard to explain but you want to have like two fingers to put the layers together and that's how you merge it or if that is too hard for you because it was for me to get it right a few times just tap the layer and it gives you an option to merge it down not the side where we choose the molds like the other side just tap it anywhere and remember to look at the mode so if it says n that means normal and m means multiply like the mode you use so just look at that carefully and make sure it's the right mode that you're merging down and now that when i'm done with all of that I'm making a new layer for the highlighting part and the brush that i'm using is back on the painting section and i'm using the round brush that has a fade at the both ends i know when you basically get procreate they're both the same the flat brush and the round brush you're gonna have to just tap the brush and fix that in settings if you look at my basic procreate tutorial you will know what i'm talking about i'm gonna put the link in the description make sure you don't use too much pressure when you're doing this part because then you're going to have too much highlight going on on the forehead so yeah use gaussian blur to blur it out and it should look like a decent highlight like so and also when i like to do this method i like to leave some texture of my avi that make it look nice and real like an ethyl avi if you know what i mean 
and this is what I meant before when if you used the blush and went too much upwards on the eye so basically when you use the blush um, make sure it looks like a v-shape on your Avi's face now I'm gonna start highlighting the nose when you highlight the nose we're gonna smudge it not um, use Gazian blood because I think this way is better so just do it like halfway like where you see the highlight on your ivy skin touching already and then use the smudging tool to define it and make it go down and create a fade when it's going to towards the tip and then i'm going to make a new layer for that highlight on the tip of the nose and then i'm going to start doing the highlight around where the cupid's bow is to um at the sides of the nose When you do this part, make sure that you don't put too much pressure on the round brush and because a little goes a long way. And then when you start to smudge, make sure you go upwards and then down and then start to blend it all in with the skin already. Like you would know that when you actually use it and if it's too hard for you, you can always use Gazian Blur, but then you have to kind of um, erase some areas like around the nose. But this is much better to be honest and now there's just a little few steps on this highlight process so i'm going to be highlighting um that area and then i'm going to be highlighting the chin and then under the brow and the top of the brow and then that's going to be it for the highlighting So this is the last ever step for this simple face repaint. So always remember to clean up these areas and yeah. So please, please practice this a few times. And this is literally like the same way you would do it to repaint your Avi's body, but this is a good practice. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.